Why do parents expect teachers to raise their child instead of instilling those values at home? Why do you have to prove that you are tougher than the next person? Why do people have to be so segregated in school? Why is it easier to find a gun than it is to find a parking spot? Why is college so expensive? Why are schools being closed down? Why aren't schools meeting the, the criteria that they're supposed to be meeting? Why do people lie? Why is there a dad in every home? Why are there no jobs? Why do you hear so many police sirens from going to one end of the block to the other? Why can they not show this sort of compassion that's really, that's really needed in a society where people like that exist, why people are suffering? Why is Chirac actually a presentable term to describe the war zone in Chicago? Why do I have to travel so far to get a good education? Why not promote peace and happiness, you know, instead of anger and hate? This is our second campaign. It makes sense. What's the point of having five senses if you don't use some of them? Hear something, see something, say something. Use your senses because it makes sense. Teens are seeing crime and they're not using their senses. If they see something with their eyes, they're not using their eyes. They're turning a deaf ear to crime. And as a result, crime isn't getting reported. Take a picture of your lips, witness, note, cite what you have seen. Tell people what you have seen and it will be notated. So our strategy is, let's use the internet to spread this issue. That's really what it is at the end of the day. So the only way to reach these kids, the only way to reach us, is to create a strategy that is interactive and tech savvy. And we believe that our pitch is just that. Five is fueled by. Instead of using the term snitching, to describe someone reporting crime, now you will say, turning up the value. When we say, turn up the value, we mean speak up for what you believe is right. In this case, reporting. With the Turn Up the Volume campaign, we can spread reporting crime by making it popular to do so. Young people will be united against fear. Empowered by the knowledge that everyone else is doing it too. And motivated because now they know that it's the right thing to do. They can relate to those words. So seeing something that says turn up on a bus stop or turn up here and there, like they can look at it and they be like, okay, and it'll grab their attention because they're so used to saying it. And if they see it, they're gonna read it. So our campaign used at first the what we call the Spider-Man theory. Basically, if Peter Parker would have reported the crime when it happened before, it could have stopped his uncle's death. A girl says she's out and she sees she sees something happen, she sees a crime happen but she knows that the person who did the crime saw her face. So that's what makes her not want to call the police. So what she does instead is call 1-800-BE-A-HERO, which is a place that the teens can report all the crimes they see, but they don't, have to, they don't have to reveal their identity, making it kind of their, their mask. I have the power to change this at a young age. I, mean, I don't have the power. I didn't get bit by a spider. I can't lift a car, but if I see something going wrong, I can dial this number and use my voice to come up here. All superheroes, they kind of have a comic every season. We will pick a story and it'll be published. It'll actually become a full comic that they can see and they can say that, oh, I had something to do with this. Our slogan is Mitch the Snitch. Our tagline is hashtag be like Mitch and hashtag find your Mitch. Mr. Snitch is a prime example of what we should be. He is a prime example of you, 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 her, him, me. We are Mitch the Snitch. Mitch is representation of those who are afraid to report crimes, whether it be fear of reputation, fear of physical harm, or fear of keeping family members and friends safe. 
We have web series on the website, memes on the website to uh, try to try to get to our generation more. Uh, people's experience with crime reporting, want people to tell their stories on the website. Um, as long as people are too afraid to report information and help break cases, perpetrators will continue to commit crimes with confidence of not being caught. My name is Paris Brown. I can describe the workshop as eye opening. Uh, my name is Jared McKean. I would describe this workshop and experience as worthwhile. If I could describe this workshop in one word, it would be empowering. Interesting. Amazing. Extraordinary. My name is Davon Smith, and this experience was unforgettable. Thank you.